TV library. My name is Professor E. N. Cyclopedia. Not to be confused with Encyclopedia. The question we will be discussing today is <clears throat> Who was one of the founders of renewable energy and why was his work so important? To answer this question, we must first go back in time. Well, almost. And discover the story of Mousseau, a scientist that lived through the Industrial Revolution. Now, the Industrial Revolution was from 1750 to 1850. It was in this time that the machine was born, birthing the new age of industrialization. Speed became the force of every second, of every minute, of every hour, of every day. And living off the land and small family trades started to disappear. Machines, notably the steam engines in the factories, became very, 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 very important. And the coal that fueled them, a necessity. It was these little lumps of black coal that kept the central power source of industrialization moving. <coughs> now, let's turn our focus to France. Paris! France was one of Europe's... Hmm, actually this one wasn't invented and it wouldn't be invented for another nine years, so forget the Eiffel Tower. To France! One of Europe's fastest growing countries during the Industrial Revolution. France's factories consumed coal so very quickly that very, very quickly the resources became absolutely exhausted and there was no coal left. The French government summoned for a great scientist to help with the problem and an announcement was made. Any person who is clever enough of finding a way of feeding our hungry factories without having to ask from arrivals England for help will be rewarded with a large quantities of money. Hundreds of copies of this message were sent everywhere all over France and one of those messages was picked up by a school teacher, Augustin Mousseau. Mousseau was a very very clever scientist and he loved to solve problems. After sitting at his desk and pondering for hours, he came up with a solution. So, I have this black and hollow cylinder, which we normally use to contain water. That was invented by Horace Benedict de Saussure for his radiation experiments. And maybe, or just maybe, I could combine this with a hollow mirror that could be used to focus solar radiation. Then it would create steam! Ha 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 ha! I've got it! But he was not completely satisfied with his invention. And he wanted to make it more useful to technology. And after much experimentation, he finally came up with the wonderful invention of solar cooking! A solar cooking device! The French government celebrated his invention with a huge exhibition in 1878. It was such a huge event that hundreds, no thousands, no millions, no billions, no trillions, no, let's stop at the thousand, let's be realistic, I exaggerate sometimes. Thousands of inventions were celebrated and pieces of art and, and lots of clever inventions and machines and things. It lasted for six whole months 
and had over 13 million visitors. 13 million visitors! Merceau, the new inventor, has now created a new invention of solo cooking. Who would believe it? Now our brave men in the north of Africa will benefit from his magnificent mind. <laughs> and now we will send his new invention so our entire army may have an odd meal every day. <laughs> Then, Mousseau said proudly, And what is more, it can cook without producing steam, which of course is very important to an army, especially when they do not want to be seen. Yes, no seen steam at all. But Mousseau still had lots of inventions to share. Oh well, that is not all I have done. I have also created a way of powering these engines with steam too, all through my wonderful little invention of solar apparatus. Steam, 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 it is truly wonderful. Well, let's steam ahead. Then he revealed one of his many designs of steam engines. Now look upon this great machine. This conical mirror's diameter spans some five meters. And what is more, the engine can be used as a printing device. Not only that, but it is able to produce ice. They were so proud of his machine that they awarded him with a gold medal. But then one day, the very important people had a problem with his invention. Excuse me, monsieur. Mousseau, this invention of yours, it is very pretty, of course, very fancy, but uh, there is one problem. It keeps on oxidizing the mirror part. It keeps on oxidizing, which means it needs constant cleaning, which is a frightful bore. And at that very same moment, as if things couldn't possibly get any worse, a telegram arrived. Warning! Miners have just found new deposits of coal in the eastern parts of France. And lots of it! <laughs> then, the government stopped giving him money and they said to him, Well, we do not need your pretty little solar invention anymore because we have found more coal! <laughs> Our hungry machines can eat that now! We will label your invention as economically inefficient. Sorry! Mm. Excuse-moi, pardon! Au revoir, Monsieur Mousseau! <laughs> economically inefficient? Hmm, an interesting phrase. Who would have thought that over a century ago that a school teacher named Mousseau would have invented one of the most important solutions to renewable energy. He believed quite adamantly that one day fuel would run out and just as he predicted it came true. What can the young minds of today create to solve the issue of depleted resources? How can we be inspired by Augustine Mousseau's inventions? What is the future in terms of renewable energy? Young scientists the question lies in your hands.